Hey, thanks so much for buying the Emporium Solar Cam Pro 2.0. You're absolutely going to love it. I've just created this video just to show you um, how to use it in the Emporium Security app. So I'm going to click, I'm in the Emporium Security app now. I'm going to click on Pool 2, which is one of the Solar Cam Pro 2.0s that I got out the back. So you can see it opens up the video that's all live right now. Um, some of the main features, if you look up the top left, you can see how much battery you've got and if it's charging, because it's got that lightning arrow in there, it means it's charging from the solar panel. It says it's in HD. And then if we go across to the right hand side of the screen, you can see I've got the sound turned off. So if I turn that on, it means that I can hear what's going on out there via the camera's microphone. Um, it also tells you the signal strength. So we got 90% there, which is good. And then if I go down to the bottom right and I click on that arrow, it's going to bring up all the other features. So the first one is playback. If I click on playback at the top left there, it will take me back and show me where it's had notifications earlier today. And it'll take it back and retrieve the footage. This is all through the micro SD card as well. Um, and if you click at the top right there, that calendar looking thing, you can go back to other dates and look at the footage um, that sent the notifications back then. Um, from there, the next one is gallery. So what would happen here is it stores photos and videos. So if you look at the camera um, up in the top left or second from the left, I'm gonna click on it. It's just taken a screenshot of what it's showing on the camera. So if I go to gallery, you can see it's there now and I can open it up. The next one directly in the middle is the microphone. Um, so I could talk to somebody out there and they could talk back to me so we could have a conversation. And the next one to the right, which is a video looking thing or a video camera looking thing, um, I can record what's going on out there just like the screenshot and it'll come up in the gallery. So now if we go back down to the next line again, the next one is theme color. So you can basically bring up and you know do light mode, put it on now, get a dark mode, etc. Um, night mode function, which is furthest to the right. I can have it on infrared night mode or color night mode. I've got it on color night mode right now because what it does, it sets it up like a floodlight. When that light comes on, it records everything in full color. Um, otherwise, you can just go back to infrared night vision. I've also got anti-flicker turned on in case at night time lights come on, um, like fluorescent lights, and they have a bit of a flicker to it, it'll cut all that out. I've also got motion detection activated on there, turn that on or off. That's basically going to send us um, alerts when it senses motion. I've got an another setting which I'll go through in a minute, which basically does human filtering so you don't get notifications of trees moving and stuff like that. I've then got the PIR, which is basically telling us what the sensitivity of the notification should be. I've just got it on low right now because it's a pretty closed in area that we've got. And then on the right of that, you've got the siren. So if you see somebody out there you don't want or something going on, you can let off the siren. So now I'm gonna take you through more of the settings in the top right, which is the three dots. So I click on them. You can see there we've got the third party controls, Alexa and Google that you can use with the camera. You've got device information, which basically tells you the IP address, where it's based, signal strength, etc. And then the next one of note is the share device. So if I click on share device, if somebody else has the app in your family, you can literally message them a link and they'll click on that link and they can add that camera to their Emporium security app just like we've got here. Then you've got basic function settings. So you've got the status indicator to show that it's on. You can flip the screens if you ever needed to. So if for some reason you had to mount it upside down and it was showing everything upside down, you just click this and it'll bring it the right way up. You've got the time watermark on there that you can click on or off. I like to have it on because then you know what times and dates exact things happen in case you need to give evidence to police or someone else. Talk mode, you can change that to two-way talk if you need to. Any flicker we went through and then camera calibration is just for troubleshooting. Um, we've already been through the night mode stuff. Now we're going to detection alarm settings. You can see in here I've got motion detection alarm on, I've got the sensitivity as medium and I've got human body filtering on. So that means it will only send me notifications if it senses a human out there. Um, you can also go into activity, activity area and schedules as well. So activity area is, you can basically set uh, a set area that you only want it to send notifications for. Um, and then schedule just means 
you can set times that you want it to send you notifications. So on times that you're away from your home or you're on holidays, we can also have a schedule that it doesn't send you notifications for times when you know there's going to be lots of people walking around out there on the weekend. PIR, we've already been through. Power management settings is basically um, just telling you the how much of the battery is remaining, where are the power source is coming from, so it's actually charging from the solar panel right now. Um, and then we can set the low battery alarm threshold as well, so it'll send you a message if it goes below 10%. Uh, next one, storage settings. So we've got a micro TF card in there. It's basically telling us how much is in there, how much is used and how much is remaining. When you first put it in, we recommend hitting the format button to send it formats it correctly. Then offline notifications, got that sent on. If for any reason it goes offline, um, you will get sent a notification as well. Now down the bottom is we've just put together a heap of FAQs in the help center um, and then you can add to home screen of your phone as well. If you click that, it'll show you how to set it up and then it tells you if there's any device updates. So when we're purging um, software updates and that sort of thing for the camera, you'll see it come up in there um, for it to be updated free of charge. So one other cool thing I just wanted to show you is if you have multiple cameras set up and you come back to the home page here, at the top right, you can see the plus button, but to the left of that, you can see your camera. If you click on that camera, it's basically going to show all your cameras coming up at once. So you can see there, I've only got three cameras running at the moment. We're testing a couple of other ones. You can also go to from four channel all the way through to 16 channel. And you can see it's loading a couple of other ones on there that aren't quite set up yet. Um, but then what you can do is you can turn it sideways like this and you could then screen share that to a big screen within your house and then you could have a look at all the cameras at once or on your business or whatever you want to do. So we've only got the four cameras running right now and that's why the other ones aren't loading. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoy. Please reach out if you have any questions. Info at emporiumsecurity.com.au or you can contact us on the phone number on our website or we have instant messaging on there as well. Hope that helps.